sustainability is, is one of the uh, pillars of the communication technology roadmap and uh, as a result tends to influence research directions among the faculty who participate here in MIT. And it comes about uh, in two different ways. Uh, in one way, if we consider information technology, uh, the amount of energy that goes into the internet uh, is projected to use all of the electricity generated in Japan just for the Japanese internet itself by the year 2030. So it's already five to six percent of all of the energy usage in any advanced uh, uh, society around the world. And uh, if you look at the growth of the amount of data that's being transmitted, it's clear that both the change in architecture of the internet needs to happen, but a major change in the hardware that goes into it, making it more energy efficient, has to happen. That's just the interconnection part of the network. If you look at the data center, then you get more involved in the need to do parallel communications and computations in a data center. Uh, and then it gets right down to the devices that you're using. And so uh, in the old days when I was at Bell Labs, we talked about uh, uh, kilobits and maybe megabits per second uh, as being uh, world changing as far as individual uh, telephone voice conversations are concerned. And now we're talking about exabits and even exabytes of information uh, that are going to be transmitted through data centers and from data center to data center. And uh, when you think about the scaling of that, it's uh, in the time that it took me to give you that brief explanation, a, a typical uh, high-end computer or data center would have processed all of the information ever created uh, in time up until the year tw 2012. So uh, looking into the future, we're very worried that uh, the vision of scalability of the functionality of information technology uh, is imperiled simply by energy. Uh, but then if you look a little bit further as a material scientist into what are the manufacturing processes that we use, uh, how much energy goes into those, uh, how much effort goes into the effluent that comes out of them, uh, besides the energy that goes into the operation of the ultimate system, uh, one sees that the whole cycle needs to be examined and perfected if we're going to be able to uh, sustain or scale forward in any of our technologies.